and designer jewelry pieces that are roofed in fast wind. Welcome to Luxify, we talk about fashion, luxury and basically all the best things life has to offer. Welcome to our video listing 10 designer jewelry pieces that are roofed in fast wind. Jewelry is perhaps the most fun investment one could make. I'm talking about pieces that are timeless and classic, pieces you will be wearing all your life, but you will also be able to sell for more than you bought if you ever want to. Of course, resale value depends on many factors, like condition, time of use and design, but here on this video I'll show you 10 pieces that on average are great investments. Above all, keep in mind that a good investment when it comes to jewelry is the one you love and will be wearing forever. So without further ado, here are 10 designer jewelry pieces that are worth the investment. If you are new here, welcome! Please subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Luxficom. Number 10. David Yurman Cable Bracelet Founded in the 1970s, David Yurman is a relatively young brand, however, the brand remains iconic within the jewelry market. In 1983, David Yurman introduced his signature cable bracelet, which quickly became an icon in the jewelry industry. Today, these bracelets continue to hold on to their value in the resale market. A jewelry staple for almost 40 years, the cable bracelet is a great way to start your jewelry collection, being the least expensive item on this list. This cable classic bracelet with blue topaz and 14 karat gold is sold for $650. Number 9. Bulgari Serpenti Bracelet An ultra-modern interpretation of Bulgari's icon, the Serpenti Bracelet, enchants with the stark simplicity and slick sensuality of its hypnotic design. A blend of sinuous shapes and geometric flair, the bracelet coils around the wrist with the essential beauty of its unmistakable scales. Bulgari is absolutely a jewelry brand that holds its value well. The Italian jeweler is one of the most well-known in the world, and you'll spot the brand gracing the necks and wrists of many celebrities. And the Bulgari Serpenti collection is a classic that will always remain in style. The Serpenti Fiber 18 karat yellow gold bracelet is sold for $5,950. Number 8. Chalmet Josephine Ring the Chalmette Josephine collection has been a favorite for over two generations and offers 45 exceptional different pieces. The most iconic Josephine piece comes in the form of a ring. The timeless design has been popular for years and is a great piece to pass down from generation to generation. Oftentimes the Josephine ring is used as an engagement ring. A tribute to Empress Josephine, the Mazon's first major client and muse, this ring is a beautiful piece you will treasure forever. Number 7. Tiffany Co. Setting Ring Introduced in 1886, it remains one of the most famous rings to date. Instead of setting the stone into a bezel, the jewelry house chose to create a way to optimize diamond exposure and shine, introducing the minimal six-prong setting. A true design masterpiece, the Tiffany setting is the world's most iconic engagement ring. This ring is so beautiful, it has been a symbol of the world's greatest love stories for over 130 years. Engagement ring or statement accessory. Either way, this is the kind of ring that will never go out of style. Number 6. Mikimoto Pearl Necklace Pearls tend to be polarizing, some people claim they are dated, but I firmly believe they are a classic. Nobody to the strand of pearls better than Mikimoto, whose founder Mikimoto Kokichi is credited for creating the first cultured pearl in the 1890s. Each of Mikimoto's cultured pearl strands are a work of art, born from the mystery of the sea. The creation of these strands require incredible skill, judgment and craftsmanship. The journey begins with a rigorous selection process, choosing the very best quality pearls. This necklace is a classic piece that is guaranteed to hold its value, if you ever want to sell it. This cultured pearl strand necklace with an 18 karat white gold clasp is sold for $3,470. If you are enjoying this video so far, please subscribe to my channel, so I can continue to bring you the best content about fashion and luxury living. Number 5. Cartier Justin Clos Bracelet 
In the 1970s, the New York-based designer Aldo Cipullo followed the success of the Cartier Love bracelet with another piece of jewelry inspired by everyday hardware, the Justin Clo bracelet, which translates to Just a Nail. Justin Clo combines the functional inspiration of the Dada art movement with the audacious essence of 70s New York. Relaunched in 2012, it instantly imbued today's modern spirit with its striking nail-inspired silhouette and pure lines. Available in a multitude of gold and diamond adorned variations, this style touches everything from classic bracelets and rings to eccentric cufflinks and tie pins. Justin Claw breaks through conventions with its unapologetic minimalism, asserting the essence of its wearer. The Justin Claw bracelet is a great investment, carrying 101% of its primary market value at resale, according to Rebag. The small Justin Claw bracelet in yellow gold is sold for $3,400. Number 4. Tiffany Co. Elsa Peretti Bone Cuff Bracelet The legendary model, Halston Muse, and designer created the now iconic Bone Cuff Bracelet in 1974. Inspired by her visits to a Capuchin crypt in Rome and the undulating lines of Antonio Gaudí's Casa Milà in Barcelona, the Bone Cuff comes in a number of precious metals. The sublime asymmetry and sensual contours of the Bone Cuff have an ergonomic quality that makes them one with the body. According to Rebag's Claire Report, the bracelet retains an average of 102% of its retail value, a sure thing for resale. This small bone cuff in sterling silver is sold for $1,300. Number 3. Foundry Necklace This is a new brand, founded only in 2015, with a surprisingly high retention value in the resale market. Foundry necklaces are a favorite among young collectors and celebrities. When you buy one of their necklaces, you are not buying a heritage piece like the ones I showed before, but rather a stylish item with an amazing design. This necklace might not be for everyone, but The Real Real reported that Foundry necklaces hold approximately 106% of their value on the resale market. This one is sold for $6,595. Number 2. Cartier Love Bracelet The original and classic love bracelet is the best investment you could make at Cartier. Italian jewelry designer Aldo Cipullo created the Cartier Love Bracelet in the Cartier New York workshops in the 1970s. Love symbols should suggest an everlasting quality, the designer said. Love is the ultimate expression of Cartier's design vision. Perfect clean lines and precise proportions meet in an oval bracelet, formed of two rigid arcs that must be screwed together using a special matching screwdriver. With its unique locking mechanism, it shows that love should not be taken lightly. When the bracelet first launched, rumor has it that Cartier gave pairs of them to some of the most famous couples of the 20th century, including the Duke and Duchess of Windsor, Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton, Ellie McGraw and Steve McQueen, and Sophia Loren and Carlo Ponti. It is also rumored that Cartier once prohibited customers from buying love bracelets for themselves, with a policy stating that they could only be purchased by a couple. A symbol as strong as the eternity ring itself, the love bracelet has been for more than 40 years a token of love and attachment. According to Rebag, the now iconic Cartier love bracelet holds 102% of its retail value on the resale market, making it a must-have Cartier piece. A small love bracelet in yellow gold is sold for $4,450. Number 1. Van Cleef & Arpels Alhambra Necklace In 1968, a four-leaf clover design was introduced, and 50 years later, it remains emblematic of the famous brand. It was inspired by the quarterfoil motifs that are found on the Moorish tiles of the Alhambra Palace in Granada. It was also meant to function as a lucky charm, a tradition that stems from the touch wood rings introduced in 1924. This simple but distinctive design proved instantly popular with important jewelry collectors, including Elizabeth Taylor. Princess Grace of Monaco was one of the people most identified with the Alhambra range, and often wore a necklace made of malachite that she bought in 1975. It is as popular today as it was 50 years ago, proving the point that good design never goes out of fashion. A celebration of the Amazon's creativity, its pure lines and distinctive beaded silhouette are brought to life with a broad palette of natural materials. Different stones bring different qualities to the collection. The onyx, for example, draws its charm from the depth of its black color, while the white mortar pearl has been chosen for the delicateness of its iridescence, accentuated by careful polishing. 
Devon Clifton Arpels Alhambra necklace holds an impressive 113% of its value, according to the real real. This is a classic investment piece that will for sure hold its value, but is also an amazing piece to pass on from one generation to the next. This Alhambra necklace with motor of pearl is sold for $2,620. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. Comment below which brands you'd like to know more about. And make sure to check my video about the 10 designer bracelets that will never go out of style. Thank you for spending some time with us, and make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. In return, I'll provide you with the best content about fashion, travel, and luxury living. See you soon!